Hello everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a teapot. So today I'm going to be doing a review of this wonderful glass teapot from Rowing Tea? Rowing Tea? I'm really sorry if that's not how it's pronounced. I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, but this teapot. So this is a glass teapot and as a disclaimer this teapot was sent to me in exchange for a review. I've already opened it obviously. Um, but the teapot comes, it's the teapot and then it has a wooden coaster and then there's also a small wooden coaster that you can put like the lid or the strainer on. And then so the lid piece comes out and then also you can see inside the basket infuser also removes and then this metal piece also comes out but it stays in there so that when you um, keep the infuser in it holds the infuser in place and then um, you can also it's what fits the lid onto the glass piece but then it is removable for cleaning and stuff like that but during use you keep this metal piece in all the time um, it has a Really see it. it has a drip catch spout, um, so that's really nice. So hopefully, it theoretically shouldn't like spill when we pour from it. And then the other really interesting thing about this is that this is supposed to be stovetop usable. So you could put this on your stove and boil your water in this glass teapot. I am not gonna try that today. <laughs> um, I don't typically like boil my leaves on the stove. And I, I have a kettle and an electric kettle, so that's not really something that I would ever do or need to use this for. But that is the other, this uh, metal piece in the middle that keeps the lid, it um, actually like it seals it. So it's making sure that as little air is escaping if you were to boil water in this glass pot. In terms of look, I actually love the design of this teapot. I think it has a really fun shape um, and I, I like the way that the handle is shaped as well because it has a really comfortable grip. So it's a pretty standard teapot in terms of like a glass teapot with a metal infuser, but it does have like a unique shape to it, which I really like. So let's make some tea. So I'm going to brew up some organic blueberry jam from David's Tea. This is really difficult with not being at a table. <laughs> So I just did two perfect spoons in the infuser and that's because I'm not going to fill it up all the way. If I were doing like a full pot, I would probably do four, I don't know, um, it kind of depends. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to talk about the that, uh, basket itself, so I'm going to pull it out. So when you look at the basket, it has, I'm not sure if it's going to show up on camera, but the, the holes for the tea to infuse out of are incredibly small so I wouldn't expect much of like a, any tea to be able to come out of the infuser um, my guess is you're probably only really gonna get what I call like the tea dust which is just like um, little powder um, but I don't even think like a rooibos would come through this so that is a very nice we hate it when the tea comes out of an infuser here so I'm going to pour in some hot water have a little thermos because I'm upstairs That's what I'm going to call enough water for today. Um, so what's really nice is that if you are using this as a single serve pot, I'm gonna put this a little closer, the infuser reaches all the way to the bottom of the teapot. And what's nice about that is that if you are going to use this as a single serve teapot, couldn't find my lid, um, you are going to still be able to get all of the flavor from the leaves, right? The leaves aren't on the top when all your water is at the bottom. You're able to still make a very small amount of tea with just a little bit of water because the infuser reaches all the way to the bottom. So your tea will still be all the way at the bottom, even though you've only filled up the pot like just with a little bit of water. All right, so my tea is finished steeping. So I'm going to remove the lid and then I have the little coaster over here, so I'm going to remove the infuser. But then you can put the infuser onto the little coaster, and now you have your pot of tea. Um, 
can even put the lid back on to keep it warm. And that's the other nice thing too, because this is meant to be like stove stop safe and the, the lid seals when you put it back on, it's gonna keep your pot of tea warmer for longer. So I just have like a little pan cup here, but I'm gonna pour my tea. And it is drip resistant. I love this tea. It's so sweet and amazing. But anyway, we're not talking about tea right now. We're talking about the teapot. I like it a lot. <laughs> this is wonderful. Um, I probably should at some point try boiling water on the stove. Um, but that also kind of scares me. <laughs> um, so supposedly you are able to do that, but this is supposed to be really easy to clean because you can take this metal piece out. Um, so you're gonna be able to get like a brush in there clean out the whole teapot. It pours wonderfully. Um, it's a beautiful shape and it's going to keep your tea warm for a long time as well. Overall, I'm incredibly satisfied with this. I really can see myself using this a lot in the future. My favorite thing about it is definitely the spout. I really like it when spouts are engineered so that when you're pouring they don't drip when you stop pouring. And the, the handle is comfortable to hold and it's also really nice that it comes with a wooden coaster because like when you put boiling water in here it's super hot and if you boil this on the stove right it's going to be really hot so it's really nice that it comes with a coaster that you can place it on instead of needing to like find one yourself but overall i really enjoyed using this teapot and i definitely recommend it there will be a link in the description box down below so you can check it out on amazon and yeah i definitely think that you should check it out if you're looking for a new glass teapot but that's all for this episode of Kayla's Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. And comment if you've ever tried this teapot or what your favorite glass teapot to use is. That's all for now. So as always, happy sipping.